What's the difference between the Tesla Autopilot 1 and Autopilot 2? And did you know there's actually 2.5 now? So this is all kind of very confusing to a lot of people, uh, even Tesla owners, including myself. Before making this video, I have to admit, I had to look some things up even after two years of Autopilot being out there uh, because it's been kind of up and down and a lot of people don't really know what's going on with it. So I'm going to explain everything to you right now. Uh, now, the, the reason we're confused and it's kind of hard to follow is mainly the naming conventions of all of these versions and starting with Autopilot itself. You know, we now know as Tesla owners that Autopilot doesn't really mean that it's autonomous driving, but that's because we know the difference between autonomous driving and uh, assisted driving. But if you tell this to regular people, and I have had conversations very recently with people who know about electric cars, but don't know exactly about Tesla and what the autopilot is. And all of them say, oh, autopilot means the car is just driving themselves, right? And you can't really deny that that's pretty much the meaning that most people give to this word. So I, and because this is not true in this case, right? It's technically still in beta. And it's really just a set of driving assistant features uh, for you and me, uh, rather than kind of taking it over. And as a matter of fact, in November of last year, 2016, the most autopilot -y feature was taken away from us. If you remember, you used to really not have to touch the wheel almost at all. But now you kind of can't do that uh, or your autopilot will cancel itself and you will have to reboot the car or stop the car in order to get that feature back. So really, the, uh, there is not much of an autopilot left at this point as far as most people understand it. Now, I know there was a death and there were a few other uh, incidents where uh, people really thought it was autopilot and ended up getting into accidents by not paying attention or ignoring warnings. And, you know, Tesla has been mainly cleared uh, and they have done um, a decent enough job communicating it to everybody saying, now listen, this is beta, you're still responsible and so forth. But the name itself has suggested otherwise. So maybe in the future and generally a better name can be picked for this uh but now let's talk about versions and this is where the confusion is you know coming in i'm going to leave 2.5 for a second and i'll we'll talk about it a little bit later but let's talk about 1.0 versus 2.0 um now you know it's been two years since the autopilot was introduced in november of uh oh i'm sorry october 9th 2014. so originally it was done with partnership of this israeli company called mobileye they've developed pretty much everything and tesla was doing it in partnership with them well they kind of had a misunderstanding a bit of a breakup and tesla ended up completely you know dissolving that partnership and going with their own hardware and most importantly software well they weren't really quite ready for that at that time so the 1.0 version uh, had you know one camera and a few sensors and you know it was it's good enough to have a pretty good set of software sitting on top of that and that's what we enjoy still now people have uh autopilot 1.0 i have it in both of my cars no you know i have it, it's self-driving you're you're in the lane it will follow the car and it will stay in the lane it will change lanes it will park itself it will do summon and all, all that stuff so it's it's a pretty impressive set of features especially for 2014 and i still enjoy it um i have to say that i really missed the feature where i didn't have to keep my hands on the wheel all the time so that kind of kill that feature for me. Uh, but that's what it was. And it was pretty, pretty impressive back then because no one else really had that set of features. Now everybody else is kind of catching, catching up to that. But at that time it was pretty cool, even though it was only two years ago. Well, so they ended up, you know, in, uh, I believe this was in, um, uh, October 2016. So that was last year, October, uh, Autopilot 2 came out. And this was a big deal because Tesla said, listen, the hardware has been upgraded uh, drastically. And it was true. It had now had eight surround cameras. It had 12 ultrasonic uh, sensors. It had a forward facing radar that could, you know, see under the cars and see through the fog. And the computer was 40 times as fast as the previous one. And you can upgrade it if you wanted to. So the hardware upgrade was massive. And Tesla said, listen, we, we, that's it. This is the hardware that you will someday use 
to have this car autonomously drive itself. And uh, we'll just need to catch up with software. And this is where people kind of called it 2.0 because it was really a major improvement. Well, with the software, it was a completely different story because as you remember, Tesla had to develop theirs from scratch. So when they rolled out their own software for the 2.0 hardware, that software was nowhere near of what the 1.0 software was at that time. It had all kinds of limitations. It had speed limitations. A lot of features were removed. Uh, the high beams, automatic high beams were brought back only a few months ago. So it took them a while to put all of those features back. Um, a lot of times people said that the, the, the uh, Autopilot 2 software would only see cars in front of, of, of the, your Tesla and not on the side like 1.0 was able to see. It was really correcting itself a lot of times. So your ride was kind of really kind of weird and it's really uh, uh, shifty. I, it's gotten better and better and better. And I'm making this video in uh, September of 2017. And the set of features is pretty similar. I actually have a loaner car right now and, I, and, I, and it's brand new. So it has 2.5 hardware actually, definitely 2.0 software on it for sure. Um, and it's been pretty same as I can't see that many differences as anymore. But in the beginning, it had almost nothing. As a matter of fact, some people tried suing Tesla. I really haven't researched what happened to those cases by saying, hey, you told us this is going to be 2.0. And it really is going backwards from 1.0 really into beta stage. And that was kind of true. And I have to say, that's one of the biggest issues that I've seen with Tesla in the last five years of being a fan. I thought that could have been handled a little bit differently and people probably should have been either given a choice between 1.0 and 2.0 or if that wasn't even a, a, a possible at least been told the 2.0 software wasn't as ready as 1.0 so for the longest time until now people who would bought brand new cars could not enjoy the same autopilot features as we have enjoyed for now two years us having cars with 1.0 software so just to review the hardware, the 2.0 hardware has made a huge leap and the new hardware is amazing, but the software actually went back. And so it's only now catching up to the 1.0. Now, if you're watching this video, you know, later in the year or in the next year or year after that, I'm sure it will run away big time because they pretty much have all the hardware and it's just a matter of rolling out those features all the way to autonomous driving. So that's pretty cool. It depends when you're watching this video. Um, but it's been kind of a weird year for those people who've been buying these cars with a much better hardware, but mm, a digression of the previous version of the software. Now, I mentioned 2.5. Now, that came out in August, so last month. The really, I, I don't know who called it 2.5. I'm not really sure if Tesla did or just the media did, but that's another unfortunate name because 2.5 compared to 2.0, usually when we talk software, that's a huge leap. It's halfway to the next version. Where in this case, they just uh, created a, they, they put a, a extra hardware to have sort of a backup processing power. So they made the computer a little bit more powerful. And that was pretty much it. As a matter of fact, Tesla has been really trying to downplay it and saying that's just a little tweak. And it's very unlikely that, that they even need it. So if you have 2.0 hardware, you will still be able to do autonomous driving whenever they have that software. And if you won't, they will upgrade it for free at that time. So they will keep their promise, which is great and honorable, obviously. But 2.5 is probably not the right name for it. And but the cars that are being made right now have that hardware with an extra processing power. Though I've mentioned earlier that you can replace your entire computer with 2.0 hardware into something more powerful in the future. And that will be your upgrade, really. So I hope I have cleared the air here. Now, this situation has been kind of moving and depending on when you're watching this video and it's really up to you to decide. So, for example, all throughout this one last year when people were thinking about, well, you know, I really want to buy a Tesla because of the autopilot. I suggested that, hey, you better you're better off getting maybe a certified pre-owned from Tesla with a 1.0. It will cost you twenty, thirty thousand dollars less with you know reasonable mileage. And then once the 2.0 software really bypasses where the 1.0 software is at this point, then you upgrade to a brand new one with a new hardware. Because right now you buy hardware that's kind of going to be useless for a year or even a bit more. Now, September 2017. They're pretty much neck and neck. 
Um, so if you're if you're looking for autopilot, you're probably better off from now on buying a hardware, especially uh, the the 2.0 hardware, especially if you really just want latest and greatest, right? And you obviously the resale value will be. Uh, much higher because that car will be capable and would get better as the software uh, keeps rolling out where the 1.0 is kind of stopped in the past. All right, so um, I hope I cleared the air here. Uh, just like I said, I had to do some research to, to figure it all out. I hope I hope you guys, I know, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, definitely I'll be happy to answer. Probably we'll have to do a little more research, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, put them down there in the comment section. And if you think I missed something or if there's some news that happened after I made this video, go ahead. I'd love to get those comments rolling. I'd love to get this thread uh, upgraded, updated with the news. So uh, by all means, I always love comments. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.